Hey guys, it's Daros Probs here, and welcome to this command block video. Today we are doing Prison Mines. Now, a huge shout out goes to a guy called Cancer Dave, I think he's pronounced it, but I'll pop the comment up on the screen right now so you can see. But he suggested this, guys, and this is what I've come up with. Now, I'm pretty chuffed with it, I think it's pretty good. I'm in survival. And this is your mine, okay? I have an efficiency 5 pickaxe, so it's quite quick. But what's so cool about this is, the different ores randomly generate, if you like. They like, swap out using the fill command. Now, I made a fill command video the other day, and I showed off that you can use it to replace blocks, and this is what I've done. And the good thing about this as well is, if you're stuck in here, and obviously you know the mine's going to regenerate if you like oh you can't even see my character now uh yeah you get teleported back up to the start which is pretty nice but it's only on a minute and a half timer yes this isn't really you know oh there we go this isn't really finalized the timings aren't right the ores aren't right i've just done this to show you guys okay so as you can see what i'll do is just stand here and you'll see these will change there we go guys, did you see it? <laughs> it won't change loads, but it will make a difference if you're actually mining. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I will just show you um, it one more time in action when it teleports you. So say I'm mining down here, and because obviously you're in survival, you will actually get squidged by, well, you get suffocated, don't you, by blocks if they come. Because if you know what I mean, if they get replaced and you'll be stuck down here and you'll be like, uh, 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 dead. Yeah, I'll just wait for it. Oops, I fell through. There we go. I've been mine reset. And as you see up there, that is the cloning side of it. Okay. So let's get into the commands. And what I'll do is hop into game mode C, obviously to show you them. And yeah, I will speed this up as well so you can see it in action. So over here is just the commands, okay? So what we got here is a hopper clock system, okay? Now what this has in here is one item that just flicks either side like that. That obviously activates this torch or deactivates it as you can see here. And then that flows those items through. I need to break this or else I'm gonna get teleported. There we go. That was just a teleporting one there. <laughs> but what is that? that that is doing then is obviously setting this line of commands off and then setting this line of commands off. Now this side is the cloning side, okay? That is just cloning that thing up in the sky which is basically this whole ore generation. But I'm using that as the mine reset, but obviously if you're playing prisons you could have that as just plain oak. You could have that as, I don't know, plain cobblestone, whatever you want. Whatever your prisons is going to be. And then this is just telling you it's mine reset. And then obviously the last command was teleporting me back up the top. Okay. This side, okay, is where the ore generating comes. Now it's using this, I've used this a lot of times in different, you know, videos, different command creations I've come up with. But this is a randomizer, okay. Now it's just literally placing a block of redstone underneath the armor stand, which is named ore, okay. And that is the same thing four times, just to up the randomization, if you like. And then obviously over here, these are filling in the same area of the mine, if you like. And when it finds uh, gold ore, it will replace it with coal, okay? Obviously these are all different, but you could have as many of these as you want, guys. But like I say, I'll put four, so four different blocks will just come like that, if you know what I mean. And this is just set blocking air above that to remove the redstone block when it gets placed. And obviously these are called ore. But I think this is pretty good, and it's quite small if you think about it. I mean, yeah. So what I'm going to do in here is show you this. So we got some bedrock, okay, that is just flipping across. About a stack I've worked out with a stopwatch on my phone is about 25 seconds, okay? So if you wanted it to be five minutes, you could do the maths, okay? Because we always like learning with Dan Rubs probes. <laughs> but yeah, you could just put chests up 
you know, up the top here, a chest, for example, um, filling that up even more. And obviously a chest below that, and I don't know, you could probably come up with some other system if you want it to be seriously long, but for this video purpose, I've only just made this little thing. But like, if I show you here, if I take all these out, it will flip around quite quick. I'm gonna get rid of that as well, because that will just keep popping up. Uh, so it's on about, I don't know, two or three seconds now. So you'll see it will change and chop and change quite quickly, as you can see. So all in all, I think that is pretty good. It's 100% multiplayer friendly because the teleporting, you can just put it at, at, e, uh, at A, sorry. And obviously you get teleported back here. But yeah, I don't know. Thanks Cancer Dave for the, obviously the suggestion. I like little challenges like that, but hopefully this is what you were looking for. Thanks very much guys. I'm Daryl Sprubs.